Hey guys, what's going on? This is DJ Wolfman01 uh, giving you a tutorial video on how to switch discs on Metal Gear Solid on your EPSXE PlayStation Simulator. Now, uh, many people uh, have had this problem, and what you basically have to do is open your EPSXE. And before I actually get into switching the disc, I would highly recommend that you download the EPSXE 1.9.0 version because that is the best version you're going to get it. Uh, you can download it on emuparadise.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. I highly recommend you download this version because it includes all the BIOS and plugins that you're going to need. So if you're new to this sort of thing and you don't really know how to, you know, extract files and uh, store them in certain places and get it all running then I would recommend getting this one for you because it basically does everything for you and it should be very very easy um, if you guys want a tutorial video on how to set it up I'll gladly show you how to do that just uh, leave me a comment and I'll get right on that but today as I said I'm just going to be showing you how to switch discs on Metal Gear Solid um, so yeah let's go uh, now many people usually run their files off ISO which is what I do but when it comes to Metal Gear Solid, you're probably going to be better off running it on CD-ROM just purely because uh, I've had problems trying to run it off ISO and switch to disk or ISO. It just doesn't work for me. It works with other people because maybe they, they're using different configuration settings or compatibility settings. Uh, but yeah, this is how the way that I do it because it works for me. And obviously I'm running on Windows uh, 8.1. So yeah, okay, so this is what you're going to have to do. Go to run CD-ROM. As you can see, there are all my games, uh, Marvel, Metal Gear Solid, all that stuff. Uh, not got many games, I've only had this emulator for a week anyway, so um, yeah, but what you want to do is uh, when you do open first to the file run CD-ROM, you'll be greeted with this screen here. So wherever you've been storing your games, uh, you need to go to that folder, obviously. So I store all my uh, games in the uh, ISOS folder because... Uh, it just makes sense because <laughs> those are the files so uh, obviously you go and want to run Metal Gear Solid 1 so just double click and obviously I would recommend that uh, after you have faced Sniper Wolf in the uh, second battle in the snowfield you should save it just after that because that is the closest save you're going to get before switching discs so obviously that's very important so uh, here's Metal Gear Solid. Go into your load game and load up into the snowfield. As I said before, highly recommend that you do this save because it's the closest one to the switching the discs. Okay, so uh, you're going to want to get to the part where you switch discs, which is here. Probably gonna get shot up by this camera on the right, but it's gonna miss me. See? And here you are, greeted with the uh, switch disc. And so many people have been trying to figure out how to do it, and it literally is this simple. Once you're greeted with this screen, press escape. Okay, let me just quickly go on my OBS to shut off the game because I know it'll be over my monitor. So just switch that off for a second. Minimize. Okay, so now that you're going to be back on your EPSXE, now you want to go to File, Change Disk, and hit the CD-ROM. Obviously, we're not running on the ISO, so you don't want to switch on the ISO, because then it will just crash. So, go to Change CD-ROM. Change Disk CD-ROM. Insert a new CD-ROM and hit the button to continue. OK. And then, obviously, you select Disk 2. Now, let me just quickly turn back on my game capture. And you probably won't be seeing it now, but you will know what to do. Just select this two and press OK. And now you'll have the uh, press the start button after inserting this two. You do that. You press start on your um, gamepad. And there you go. Should pop up with the game. Takes a second. There you go. And now playing this two. It is as easy as that. And I can enjoy Metal Gear Solid now. Just press escape. And I'll just 
exit the game capture. And yeah, that is basically it, guys. So uh, thank you very much for uh, checking out my video. Uh, please leave a like and please comment if you have any questions. Uh, I'm new to uh, this whole YouTube. Well, I'm not really new to the whole YouTube thing, but this is like one of my first proper videos I've made, a tutorial. So if it helped, uh, please give it a thumbs up. It will highly appreciate it. Uh, thank you very much, guys. And uh, as I said before, if you have any other questions on any other stuff like. Uh, how to set up uh, your video configuration settings to make your game look very very nice and run smoothly I'll do a tutorial video on that uh, switching control pads for Metal Gear Solid I can do that too actually no well, screw that I can quickly show you that now actually I'll quickly show you before I uh, stop this video okay so uh, yeah uh, many people have also said they have difficulty uh, switching controller ports when you're facing Psycho Mantis in Metal Gear Solid which obviously back in the old school days on your PS1 you could just unplug PS1 stick it in port 2 but obviously we don't have that so I'll just quickly show you and it's literally as simple as this you go to configuration go to gamepad port 1 okay I think I need to exit first because I'm in, uh, still running the game so yeah so uh, EPSXE just open it configuration go to your gamepad port 1 pad 1 Okay, so this is how my game is set up. I'm using the Dog, uh, DualShock 5, F5, and obviously I am using uh, Xbox One controller because uh, I, that's my favourite controller to use. It feels really comfortable in my hands, and obviously you just uh, click on the corresponding button. So obviously this one is pointing to select. So you know, you just grab your controller and press select. You know what to do. Um, so to switch controller pads you literally don't need to press anything or do anything all you need to do is just make sure that your uh, configuration gamepad settings are exactly the same as gamepad 2 so basically when you're running a game your one controller is acting in actual fact as two controllers so just a heads up if you're playing if you're playing a game like Tekken or any sort of fighting game I would recommend to turn controller 2 off because sometimes you'll like press start and then you'll be accidentally playing yourself it's kind of cool to try it out first but obviously I wouldn't recommend it because then you might be going what the hell's going on why is why am I controlling two fighters at the same time but it is kind of cool sometimes to fight yourself and just to see which one would be better if that makes any sense but yeah uh, basically you just need to Make sure that these configuration settings are exactly the same as configuration 2 on your gamepad. So just go to gamepad 2. And I think uh, I've reset it earlier because I was playing Tekken 3. So yeah, I didn't want to uh, beat up myself on the game. So I had to reset it. But when you're playing MGS, just make sure that these settings are completely the same as your first controller. So that way, when you do face Psycho Mantis, uh, you'll already be playing on, on um, port 1 and port 2 your gamepad so you don't really need to do anything so just make sure that uh, the settings are exactly the same as controller one so yeah again thanks again guys uh, thank you for checking my video out and peace